Hi, my name is John Donnelly. I'm a writer specializing in global health. The World Health Organization has asked myself and Dominic Chavez, a photographer, to do a report on drug-resistant TB. We've basically, in the last two months, lived with people um, who have um, drug-resistant TB, and with the doctors who are treating them, with government officials who are trying to fight the problem, and it's been it's been truly a. Uh, uh, incredible um, experience full of incredible surprises. We've, we've been with patients who, who weep every time they have to take these drugs because they're so toxic. Um, we were with a patient who, would, they, who quit after 15 months of taking these drugs every day, um, three months short of how long she had to go because she just couldn't take it anymore. And then we've met patients who um, who finish their 18 months of treatment, are cured, and then stay around and help other patients to try to get through the experience. It's, it was an opening into a world I had no idea that existed. Two years ago, um, in South Africa, news came out that um, there was an extensively drug-resistant TB uh, strain going around in a village called Tugula Ferry. 52 of 53 patients died. That got the world's attention. In neighboring Lesotho, two months they started, they said they're going to fight this with emergency response. Two months later, they set up a laboratory. Six months later, they had a brand new hospital, refurbished hospital, just for TB patients. They had, they had an air service to, to ferry in from remote parts of Lesotho into the capital. They had outside experts come in and, 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 and help them treat people. So now there's some hope in Lesotho as well as the two other countries we were in, Philippines and here in Kazakhstan, um, that, that things will happen despite this huge problem. And the reason things are happening is because people are very scared that if they let this go on for much longer, it could get bigger and bigger, it could become more and more untreatable, and more and more people will die.